Well, like the thumbnail said, opening day part two, Electric Boogaloo. What a game. This is Tim Rogers. It does rhyme with your two-time opening day winners, your Dodgers, your Los Angeles Dodgers, with the Dodgers 2080 experience. Um, yeah, what a game. Very, very pleasing. Um, just to go right to the point. Um, let's see. Is it working here? Oops. Got to fix something. Sorry, folks. Bad start. Got to fix. Come on, Rogers. Step it up. All right. Here we go. And... There we go. All right. So it starts with a quote. Um, this was a few days ago. March 16th was recorded from Miles Mikolas, who was the starting pitcher today against your Los Angeles Dodgers. He said, we're not exactly a low payroll team, but you got the Dodgers playing checkbook baseball. We're going to be the hardest working group of Midwestern, the Midwestern farmers we can be, but it, it would be great to stick it to the Dodgers. Well, let's be honest. It got stuck right back at him. Just absurdly. Um, yeah, it was bad for him. Really good for the Dodgers though. Started out with, uh, Hits galore would have had even more in that first inning if uh, <laughs> if our guy um, Mr. Shohei Otani didn't uh, run through a sign there. But um, hey, that that's what happens. That th those things happen, and that's okay. Um, just checking my feed really quick. Hopefully things are better than yesterday because the feed was all jacked up with the the timing. Um, but we'll uh, we'll take a quick look maybe at the box score a little bit, see what uh, go through some of the greatness that we saw. Um, it was it was just you know I it was tough for me to pay attention. I was at work today, so um, kind of a bummer. So I'm kind of reliving it with y'all. Um, we'll go to all all the key moments. So in the first inning. Glasnow um, gave up. He, so the only guy that got hit today was for the Cardinals was, was Paul Goldschmidt. He w didn't have a great year last year. Didn't have a good spring, but he goes and faces the Dodgers and takes care of business. But um, other than Goldschmidt, it was no hitter. <laughs> First inning, though, Mookie Betts walks. Shohei doubles on a line drive. Jordan Walker is to the corner. Um, I thought for sure – that um, that Mookie Betts would uh, would score, and I was a little disappointed he didn't. I got to be honest with you. Um, let's see if I can get that in a little more. There we go. Uh, but um, Dino held him up. I honestly, I thought it was a mistake. Uh, you could see that even before the whole Shohei thing. It's like, oh, he, Mookie's got to get there, and I think he would have get, gotten there. But um, what can you do? Um, so, um, you know, a little embarrassing for show for Shohei, you know, when you're a third base coach, it's a little rough having to do, um, doing the signs. So you're giving signs to two guys at once and you have to be very, very clear about what you're doing. So you need to be going, you know, almost you know, using, using your, well, you should, you should have something prearranged to go, this is what we're doing. You know, this hand is uh, the behind runner, the trailing runner. This is the runner in front, something like that. You're pointing at guys, um, and it just, you know, I would say, well, he didn't know Dino, but you know, he he had a year. Well, he had just a year with them and in, in, with the Angels back in 2018. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a mistake. Get it out of the way. No harm done. Yeah, Nando, he, he underestimated Otani's speed, and he underestimated Mookie. I mean, Mookie was 
Mookie was there. That that was that he's got a score on that one. That's that's I I really do put that on on Dino. That's but that's just me. And I think I, he, last few years I think he's had a few quite a few quite mm, really bad calls where he's been sending you know runners that are you know carrying a dump truck you know that are carrying a dump truck or or trailer sending them on those you know uh, those. Uh, you know, go on first contact type things in the infield. I haven't been very pleased with what I've seen with him over there. Um, he does other stuff really well, though. But then, of course, uh, good old Freddie Freeman comes up, hits the hits the single, brings Mookie in. But wait, there's more. If oh, gosh, these websites are just tragically bad. So sorry. You guys suck. Man, you know, I do this stuff for a living, the software stuff. Terrible, 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 terrible. William, William Dilliam, Mr. 140 million, comes up, hits a uh, line drive to center to get Freddie the third. Muncie, sacrifice, fly, and then Teoscar strikes out. <laughs> um, quick second for Mr. Glasnow. Uh, cl- uh, Quick second inning for Mr. Mustache Mikolas and his uh, Mr. Farmer Farmer Miles there. Um, another good throw up third. Then Mookie comes up and I just gosh I was just getting some water. I come back and Mookie's already walking into the dugout after a home run, and then Shohei walks and Freddie comes up. Let's talk about Freddie for a second. Freddie Freeman. All of a sudden, to me, at least to me, it seems like he's just a ghost. You know, he's no longer in the spotlight, which I'm sure he doesn't mind at all. Um, you know, so he comes up. He's just, you know, he's just showing some pop this year. He showed some in spring training. I guess he had 16 RBIs and like 40-some at-bats. It's going to happen. That is going to happen for him. He's going to have a lot of opportunities. So for Freddie to just be able to come in and be, he's the he's the third superstar, and then he gets overshadowed a little bit by Will Smith's contract. And we got Yamamoto on the team, um, Glasnow. It's almost like it's kind of good. I think Freddie just kind of just gets to go. Hey, I just get to play baseball a bit. So I think that's a W all the way. Um. Did Otani miss the stop sign because Dino was so far down the line? Yeah, it could have been. We we don't know. But I, I just think um I honestly think Zella that uh I, I think it was silly. He shouldn't have been stopped. It was Mookie Mookie shouldn't have been stopped. But uh, you gotta follow the signs and they just had a miscommunication. So it's tough to it's it is tough to do um to do to have those dual signs. Gosh, I think I'm off again. Man, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry about that, folks. Um, looks like the v- audio and video are still out of whack, and I don't know what's going on. It's not making any sense to me. Dang it. Um, let me kill some stuff here. Kill the Twitter machine there. Um, yeah, and then T. Oscar doesn't look great. Yeah, he, he's going to strike out a lot, folks. He's going to strike out 200 times, and he's going to hit 25 to 30 home runs. That's what he does. So I'm not. I'm just. That's just what I'm expecting. He extend Freddie three more years. At, yeah, he, he's just gonna. I think he's gonna have a nice, nice run over these next few years because the spotlight is clearly off of him now, which is really cool. Um. Yeah, scary like a ghost. Who? Yeah. Teo did. Yeah, he did. He came out. He had was third at bat. Let's get back to the game. Um, just going through these things here. So yeah, Freddie hit his dong. Um, and oh, T. Oscar strikes out again. Friggin' Paul Goldschmidt, the one man wrecking crew, Homer, and then the rest of the Cardinals. You know, die on the vine. Um, let's see. Then the next inning, yeah, we got T. Oscar. Yeah, bottom six and Altman's. Yeah, so. Muncie strikes out, so he had a couple Ks. Teoscar doubles. That was a good shot. Um, James Altman gets a single through. I don't think that was very sharp, but it was good. It worked. 
got the guy in. And then last couple outs, uh, the great Ryan Yarbrough with an opportunity at a three outs, three, three inning save to make Eric Steven, uh, Eric Stevens happy, um, works through the Cardinals brilliantly. Um, you know, Dodgers get, uh, get another run on Max Muncy driving a guy in to ask her that's three, <laughs> but at least he had the double. Uh, again, in the uh, eighth inning, um, Yarbrough mows him down. Uh, bottom of the eighth. Let's see, we got Taylor. Yeah, Kike came in, Cade. You know, so the bottom, they brought in their defensive guys, which we're going to see all year. So you can see this, right? Uh, Mookie went to second, Teoscar to right. Taylor remains the game in the left. In left, Kike goes into the game as center. And Rojas at short. I was hoping that Kike would go to third, but maybe the game was so wide they wanted to just do that. And then, of course, the only blemish on Yarbrough and the Dodgers, uh, Goldschmidt with a the single, then out, 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 out. So the Dodgers get the big, big W, and it's a good one. Um, you know, Miles Mikolas in his big mouth didn't serve himself well at all. Let's see. Overall, what do we got? Um, uh, how many times we strike? We got, we got ten Ks, two from Muncie and three from Teoscar. So they had half of them, uh, but they each had a hit. Uh, Muncie had a couple RBIs, which is good. Um, yeah, if Max Muncie uh, strikes out a bit, he's gonna do that. But if he, you know, gets some walks and um, you know, get some runs in, we're gonna be good. Um, Ryan Yarbrough, man, that's a that's a heck of a nice uh, save there. Um, but Tyler Glasnow uh, was dominant. Um, so let's so he had this is a good. I really like this. I was hoping for around eighty pitches, eighty one pitches, forty seven strikes. It's a little off. Um, Yarbrough forty four pitches, thirty strikes. That is pounding the zone. Overall, one walk all game. Love it, love it, and love it. Um, and then three hits all game, total of six Ks. They didn't quite get – I guess they changed the jack-in-the-box thing to seven strikeouts. So jack-in-the-box wants to give away some free free food with the purchase of a $5 soft drink or whatever you want to say. Um, <laughs> yeah, so all in all, opening day part two, Electric Boogaloo was a huge success for your Los Angeles and my Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, let's see. Sal's got put Lux back at short. Uh, if we're going to have spring training practice with Mookie in regular season, give Lux that opportunity. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not doing that. <laughs> I think, I think that, sh that from what they've said, now they could change their mind. That ship has sailed for this, for this season. Um, I, you know, the Otani scandal, uh, it's, I, I'm going to call it the Ipe scandal, but of course Otani's a part of it. It's in the way, obviously. You know, he's got a lot on his plate. So the dude goes in, uh, let's see, what's he done the last few months? He's won an MVP. He signs the biggest contract with one of the weirdest stories of free agency of all time. He gets married somewhere in there. Helps recruit uh, Yamamoto. Um, you know, just a new environment for him, and you know the Korean series and all that with a lot of lot going on over there. And then in the middle of that, the uh, the the whole gambling stuff drops. There's a lot on the guy's mind, and he still had two hits and hitting the ball hard, hitting the ball hard. So. Um, from the plate appearances, Shohei Otani is a freaking beast. No no doubt about it. No doubt about it. But, yeah, I wish it would go away. Um, it's going to be a while. And um, it is until proven guilty, even with Ipe. And I wish they would apply that more. I wish they would apply that in the past. You know, if you... If you're positive, you know, if they're positive about something, fine. There's something on video or something like that, that's fine. But, you know... The rest of this, the way they work is just, just kind of silly. 
How many RBIs do you think Freddie gets this year? Uh, 2,000. I mean, <laughs> he's going to just have so many RBIs with those guys in front. Uh, Mookie just looks so darn good. Oh, yeah, I didn't see what happened. Can so can someone explain that? Well, there's something about him coming in on Mookie. Yeah, someone needs to come in. You know, you, you gotta you gotta you gotta come back on those things. If they're you know when there's dirty dirty ball play, you gotta do that. Um, Otani will be fine, right? Brad Manfred said he wants this to be done fast. Well, yeah, yeah. So do we all do. They all do. That you can only do so much. FBI doing their investigation. Um, is this really something for the FBI? It's just a gambling scandal. It's just silly. MLB, that's fine. FBI, go away. Yeah. Hashtag defund the FBI. Sorry. Had to say it. Um, they need to be scrapped and restarted with new people. Um Let's see. Contreras did a late slide. Yeah, as Mookie was running his second. Yeah. You know, and, and yeah, Contreras is, that's one seriously overpaid guy. <laughs> yeah, sliding second base leg up high on bats. Yeah, it's just garbage. Um, Yeah, hopefully that gets taken care of. Maybe fifth or sixth inning, something like that. Um, let's see. So we got, uh, we got big Bobby tomorrow, right? We do have big Bobby. Yeah. Um, if we get there, so we get, um, big Bobby Miller, or as I say, Bo Miller, and he says it right there, Bo Miller, <laughs> whatever. And then, um, that game should get in Saturday is really highly in questionable. But, oh, I really want to see Lance Lynn. And I want to see Yamamoto get – he needs to get back on the horse. And then Sunday, um, the lefty Mots. Ugh, sticking lefties against Stone. This So the guy tomorrow, I can't remember. I don't remember this dude. Thompson, Zach Thompson, another lefty. So, yeah, we'll see. Really high whip last year. Strikes a few guys out. Looks like he's got, uh, gives us some hits. Mm, more than one one walk every three innings. So, yep. Um, yeah, take him out of DC, no kidding. Yeah, that guy slid in a second like he's trying to hurt someone. Yeah, it's just garbage. Yeah, Dave, Dave's got it in him. I just wish he would do the old school stuff. I got to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Mookie Bats is not only three million. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, that's that's Mookie Bats. No Mookie, no win. Just make sure the lights out. Bobby Miller shows up. I think he'll be there. I'm not worried about Bobby at all. I'm not worried about any of these. It's so it's too early to worry about that. Yeah, at least Bobby will play by the unspoken rules. No, Kershaw had some moments. Remember. Uh, Ross Stripling, though, right? Ross Stripling went and, and threw it Giancarlo Stanton. <laughs> Freaking hero. Freaking hero. Um, <laughs> let me kill the... Well, I'll keep this page up, but I need to get it off of this. These these um, web pages are just awful. Um, let's see if we can pull that. I just got... Let me go to my other account. Maybe we can take a look at that. Um, gosh darn it. Hmm. I want to see the slide. All right, we'll take a look here. We'll look at it together. Um... All right, so we got coming in. Ooh. 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 Yeah, that's bad. Can't do that. That's bull crap. Yep. All right. 
There's going to be a fight. <laughs> no one get hurt. Um, yeah, bring in, bring in someone else to maybe have, uh, I don't know who we got. Kyle Hurt and Lay went into him too. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Eesh. Oof. That is, eesh. good thing Mookie's so darn athletic. I swear, man, that, that was bad. That's, that's a little scary. Um, and that's the thing, you know, the way baseball season works. And then um, I guess the Diamondbacks scored like two touchdowns in an inning. <laughs> the um, the Rockies are so bad. Kyle Freely needs to get out of there. I know he likes it there. Um, I guess, oh, a few of you guys wanted Tyler O'Neill. He hit a home run today for Boston. He'd been a good one. Um, hey, Bob Nightingale was there. Yeah, what an opening day, I know. Joe Kelly, 101. That's the guy who'll do it. That's the guy. That's our hero. Um, yeah, that's that's the way to go. Yeah, Potters beat the Giants. I was catching a little bit of that too, just on the just on the following it on the on the um the the game thing, the game feed. Um, good evening, Carlos. Yeah, I didn't. I heard about the Juan Soto kind of saved the day. Um, th throw couldn't have been that far out though. <laughs> um, but you know, Juan Soto is going to play himself. Of course, well, he's our, he's going to get a big contract. This is ca Captain Obvious is speaking now. Uh, he's. The great, just a great um, offensive player, and if he can play any defense, it's a bonus. And of course, when the Yankees are out of it, the Dodgers will acquire him uh, for the stretch run and then let him go. That's my big. That's the biggest bold prediction I've made in a long time. Um, yeah, I don't know, Tyler O'Neill would have been a good cheap option. Um, but I think that you know. T. Oscar, I'm I'm not. I think T. Oscar's gonna be fine. Um, you know, not worried about him. He's he like I said, he is going to strike out so much. Oh, the Rockies are coming back now. I got to see the score. Let's see. Uh, I just you know I I personally I just want the Diamondbacks, Potters, and Giants to struggle in every game. That's all. Is that is that too much to ask everybody? Yeah, Mr. Class. It's just my uh well, it's 16 to 1. I don't know about coming back. <laughs> um but at least they've held them for <laughs> for a little bit, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, 14, 14 runs. She's you can have a couple games in that inning. Diamondbacks going to be good. Yep. Yeah, it'd be awesome if you went to the. Oh, Josue hit a home run today. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for them to start sending these guys out. Wonder where was Josue back in Arizona? I'm guessing. Is that is that what's going on there? Yeah. I don't know. I just throw those things out there just because I I I wanted. I wanted Juan Soto in 2022. I did. Now it's all worked out, but <laughs> and really at the end of the day, that with with all these series, I mean the Dodgers always run out of the, the hitting has just been bad, but um, in the playoffs, but the pitching has not been there the last two years either, and so that's where I think this year. The Dodgers will be aggressive at the trade deadline for pitching. Um, I think they're trying to go a little cheaper. I, my, for me, the safest route was was Blake Snell, or was to was um, um, Jordan Montgomery. That was the short putt, or trading for um, Corbin Burns. He would, he would have cost them a lot less. Um, I guess uh, Shohei's puppy was at the game today. That's cute. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so it's a new it's it's a it's a new era for Dodger baseball. Um, looking back at the Juan Soto proposals, May Lux, Cartaya Vargas, Bush. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a bad deal. There are you know, um, prospects are still suspects, and I'm a prospect hugger. I love all those guys. But um, when it comes down to it, you know, the Dodgers should be trying. They are trying to win a World Series. Um, sp- Speaking of wanting to win, I um, I don't know who if you have an athletic um, subscription, but I thought the article by Ken Rosenthal and and Fabian Fabian Ardaya was just so good. Let me pull up the tweet here. Um, the, my favorite quote. Because I was just kind of going through it, and it was uh, it was Freddie Freeman talking to um, Andrew Friedman, and was asking, "Hey, what's next?" You know, this was after Otani signed. He goes, "We want to win." Friedman replied, "Mark, that's Mark Walter wants to win really bad." These guys were absolutely embarrassed in the postseason last year. That was an absolute embarrassment. Let me fix this thing. There we go, right to the screen. They it w- they were embarrassed, and they should have been. Um. And and um, you know those guys are those guys want to win. They do. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Um, with uh, Andrew Freeman has no Scott Boris clients. Yes, he does. He has a few, including well, he's got Paxton. But he's also got Josue De Paula. Yep. And he had JD last year. Before that, Cody and Urias and Seager and all that. So um, they've dealt with him. But yeah, Dodgers. So if the Dodgers were to, if they ever get Juan Soto, it's only gonna, it would only be for this year, and that's only if the Yankees drop out and they're, and they're willing to 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 make it make that move, like I talked about. Um. So. Yeah, they're going to go. Yeah, they're going in, right? See, hepatitis, hepatitis or hep. Um, and that, but that article was great. It really dug into the off season a bit, especially with the Otani and Yamamoto um, chases. You know, chasing after those guys. Um, I thought it was a great article, and you know, you can you can get a subscription for one buck a month. I would do it just to grab. <laughs> you can cancel any time. Grab just be able to read that article. I'm I'm not gonna. Um, I could read it to you. That wouldn't be right. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that to um, Fabian and uh, Ken Rosenthal. But um, I would highly recommend pay that money. Pay that money. And uh, yeah, I, I I think I subscribe to the Athletic for just a few writers and um, obviously Ken Rosenthal. You get Keith Law in there. You get Fabian. Um, Andy McCullough, who's hey, there's a link for his for the book in, inside inside my description. If you order, please order through me. I would appreciate that. I appreciate that. Please, I'm trying to stay. I'm gonna about to lose my affiliation with Amazon if I don't get a couple of uh, some purchases. So even if it's small, I'd appreciate that. Um, yeah, sticking point must have Bobby Miller. Okay, yeah. They should have wanted him. Well, and let's be honest. The package that the Padres gave was was better than the Dodgers package. I mean, those guys were closer. And, and you know, Mackenzie Gore and uh, C.J. Abrams are contributing right away. That uh, James Wood guy is he's a stud. Absolutely a stud. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll find a way to go in without having to deal Josue and Jo Yo Andrew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep. The thing is the uh, the the receding hairline guy, you know, prospects. Um <laughs> you know, uh those aren't those, that's not what teams want. They don't want the twenty six year old prospect. They want the twenty two year old prospect that's ready. I don't know how many twenty two year olds they got ready, but even Let's just take Miguel Vargas right now. He's 
getting past that stage. And he's not even a, technically a prospect anymore. I still consider him a prospect. Um, and then, um, shoot, like uh, Dalton and Diego, they're getting older quickly. So they're going to want, they're going to be, Josue will be the number one trade or um, target, trade target of teams. They're going to be asking for him all the time. And so um, hopefully they don't have to do that. Um, we'll see. Put it this way. If the Dodgers don't trade Josue to Pala, this trade deadline, or, or Yo Andres, Yo Andre or um, Maddox, whoever, those are the guys that they that they value then for sure. Uh, you're, you're, I've already said it. Those are my three guys that I think they value the most. Even though uh, Jang might be in there too, we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure about Jang yet. Um. Yeah. So, you know, all that good pitching's gone now. Um. All it's all been pretty much signed. There's nothing out there worth picking up anymore. So now it's it it'll be trades, and um. Like I said, I would have gone. I would have gone for one more. I would have done the Blake Snell thing. That was the the highest highest uh, highest reward possible there. So, yeah, what a great game though. Great day. Let's just hope there's some games this weekend. The one thing, I definitely had that uh, that uh, the what fear of missing out today, and I really felt it. I've been to many opening days, and I hated not being there. Work was busy. Put in ten and a half hours today. Next year, ninety nine point ninety nine point nine percent chance I'm going to be there at the home opener. I love love the home opener. Um, this uh, I don't I don't I the, the, just that that Korean thing and this Japan thing. Those aren't those don't feel real. I know they count and it sucks. They shouldn't count. There's two exhibition games. Yeah, front office in Korea. That didn't matter. That didn't matter. <laughs> the Mr. Classic. They, if they wanted to get him, they would have gotten him. And then they, I wonder if they, they at least made a call, but they should have, they could have easily beat that Giants offer. And I think Snow would have took it in a heartbeat. You know, a chance to play at the Dodgers. So we'll, you know, we'll start, you know, maybe uh, I'll start taking a look at uh, some trade candidates for pitching. Uh, Snell seems like the guy that wants to take it to the Dodgers, though. I just, I think, maybe, maybe. I mean, with the, you know, with the whole Rays thing getting yanked early, and then being with the Padres and playing, you know, playing for a little brother over it like that, um, where you know they're they're pit- they're they're very petty about stuff. I mean, any crowd that's saying it's beat L.A. instead of, you know, rooting for your team's kind of, it's kind of weird in my opinion. Um, just not a fan of that. Um, root for your team uh, in the, in that way. But, you know, whatever. Um, what do you got here? From me, I just got something from Dodgers Media. So, oh, media schedule. Well, it doesn't apply to me because I didn't, I don't have a pass for tomorrow. Didn't even apply. I didn't even bother. Not yet. I'll get things going. I'm also because you know this year I'm on their channel a little bit more, so I'm hoping to get um, good media stuff from them that I could just use instead of find you know trying to find a picture of Tyler Glasnow from FanFest. I mean that's all I got. I'm trying to be good about that stuff. Yep, Snell and Monty in the NL West does suck. Yeah. <laughs> good good point, Hap. Probably was offended at the fact that Dodgers treated him like the plague this whole offseason. Yeah, a lot of I mean, a lot of people did. Man. You still you gotta figure. Or if you if you're Monty or Snell, you you need to get a different I think you should get a different agent. Just my opinion. Just my thoughts. And I'm a big fan of Boris. But um, that would be a tough one to get over. It costs them millions of dollars. Millions. and I mean, each of them. A hundred million dollars. Minimum. Hey, Craig. 
Hey, Craig, I heard you, uh, Lana, uh, shouting you out in, uh, on the show today with, um, with, uh, with, with Rosenthal, I think, right? Um, wasn't the one with Clint. I didn't, I didn't have a chance to look at that. Um, yeah, Boris cost those guys a lot of money. Uh, Chapman, not so much. Maybe uh, forty million or something like that. Turning down that, you know, the hundred million from um, the Blue Jays is just silly. Uh, money does scare me for the Dodgers. Snell does though. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, same. But it's just you just building up and having more good pitching depth. Whoever can have. Whoever's you know has the most pitching at the end, I think is going to win. And right now, the Diamondbacks kind of line up good. Padre bullpen got really lit up today. Uh, wasted a, a, a decent effort from um, the most punchable face in baseball, Logan Webb. Sorry, sorry, Logan. <laughs> got to say it. Um, but he's he's a, he's a heck of a competitor. But you know he's a really good him and Snell together. It might be good. The one thing right now in signing these guys now is they are getting a late start. I don't care what they say. I don't care how much they've been working out. Montgomery's going to say, I'll, I'll be ready in two weeks. Snell's probably saying the same thing. Uh, yeah, we'll see. That's right. You did. Yeah. You asked their favorite stadium. I thought Alana's was, I thought Alana's answer was good. Um, you know, her favorite stadium, would she say was, uh, what PNC, right? or one of the two it was something like that but she said you know in her second was any stadium that's in within walking distance of of, of good food and um it's a good point dodger stadium is isolated and it doesn't have you know that that food op, food option uh to walk afterwards i mean that's a lot of these downtown stadiums and things like that and um i get it I get it. <laughs> yeah, Pittsburgh. I I I really want to go there. I need to. I if I go to my wife, hey, let's go to Pittsburgh. She's just gonna look at me and laugh. At least. Yeah, yeah. So I had I had the game going, but it was I've been just so my I was grinding today. Um. So mostly listening today. Glanced a few, few times, but, um, yeah. Yeah, Josue definitely, you know, I've, I've watched him take a lot of batting practice, and um, he definitely is not sitting there just trying to pull balls, uh, you know, over the right field fence. He works opposite. It's great to see. Um, yeah, he has a really, he has a complete, more of a complete approach to hitting than most uh, Major League Baseball players, um, let alone other minor leaguers. So I'm really liking what, I, what I've seen from him. He, offensively, he's way ahead of, of people his age by far. Um, there's a, I'm sure there's a few others, but Dodgers need to push him. Push him good. Push him real good. <laughs> yeah, she did like the Three Rivers, I know. Yeah, I mean, she said, yeah, she liked the the stadium surrounded by water and things like that. So I think I I love Dodger Stadium. It's obviously one of my favorite places to be. Um, but I also understand the flaws. The traffic is awful. Let's be straight up. There, there's no, you know, are are you know, argue with the wall. The traffic's terrible. Um, the uh, whether it's, you know, on the freeways or where it's always bad. Um, hey, NS, how you doing? The evening is good. It's always good after a W. And I love opening day wins. I was, think I talked about that a few days ago when I coached you know, or managed in Little League. I really wanted those opening day wins. As much, uh, you know, other than a playoff game, those are the wins I really wanted. Um but yeah, Dodger Stadium has it's it's a wonderful ballpark. It's just so isolated, and um, that's just the way it was done back in the day. Uh, you know, now with uh, you know you build you build it within downtown. I mean, Petco Park has been part of the rejuvenation of San Diego's downtown. Um, of course, now the um, the homeless there is just killing it again. 
Um, it's really, it's just, man, I remember, you know, driving into the stadium. Um, was it, it's not Imperial. Is it Imperial? Um, coming up that way, and it's just terrible. Um, got a problem. Oh, I know, I know where you're talking, Mark. I know exactly where you're talking. Yep. Don't say too much. <laughs> yep. I remember when I worked for Dodgers Nation, they want to talk about parking stuff. And uh, I have my ways. I, I would not put that in an article about where to park. Heck no. Especially when I was a season ticket holder. I really wish I would have kept my season tickets a little bit just so I could sell sell them on the secondary market and make some cash. Get that uh, get that ticket griff going. Have some good giveaways, that's for sure. Yeah, I think if I had, man, if I had some tickets for the Dodgers, man, I'd just say, hey, if you want to be eligible for things, you have to do the membership thing. <laughs> um, but I actually got my first member, so um, I'm not going to shout out the name. That's a personal thing, but I got my first someone paying 99 cents to watch my videos a little early, so thank you. Um, I've got a couple in the hopper. Um, it's just it's a excerpts, but I will be doing some special ones. Um, I want the Gondola, but Mr. Classic, sorry. Um, but yeah, I know that. Uh, I think they said no to it. I, I wanted it. Actually, I go to Disney World a lot because my son works there, and they have those gondolas all over the place. And the place that's got you know thunder and lightning and all that type of stuff all the time, and they're really useful. So I don't know. There has to be alternatives. There, you know, I'm a I'm a huge car guy. I love cars, love driving my car. But um, there's just too many cars in that area, and so there has to be a better way, or at least you know. So I don't know if it's a gondola, or a teleport, or or what what's uh, Elon's thing? He's got the thing called the Boring Company. B O R I N G, which is you know digging digging in the ground, which I think is is very interesting too. I mean, you know, New York obviously did that. You know, a jillion years ago, they got a subway system that's worthwhile. I'm taking a look at the Michael Bush numbers. Curious if he um, make sure he did play. He better have played. I'd just be so mad if he didn't. Michael Bush did. Yeah, started at first base, one for two. With two walks, and that's a Michael Bush day. Good, good for him. They lost though, and their guy uh, Justin Steele, I think, uh, got hurt. El Monte uh, did not do well. Um, yeah, and the uh, Cubs ended up losing the Rangers. Yeah, I don't like Frank McCord involved in anything. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, Yeah, I just wish he would um, just just walk away, sell. But he he wants he always wants to stay, and it's a good move, keeping keeping the parking lot, keeping the parking involved. That's I mean that's how he got started. He is the parking lot merchant. Um, that's what he does. Uh, and the Dodgers have one of the biggest parking lots. You know, kind of reminds me of you know how Disneyland used to have a huge parking lot where California Adventure is now. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to see gondola, gondola, gondolas or, or something just, they got to come up with some, not buses. It's not, it can't be something that's coming along those paths. Um, it's, but it's a legit thing to say Dodger stadium is a pain in the butt in that way. Yeah. So big game tomorrow. They're all big games. Cause it's, we got baseball's back. Baseball is back. And, um, yeah, I, I wish I would have had a chance to listen to Clint today um, on with Alana. I just didn't have time. Uh, but I'm rooting for oh, – obviously rooting for Clint uh, to do well with that. <clears throat> I would – I hope that Alana um, – <laughs> I know it's almost like she's using her, um, her ear pods for her microphone. You know, she, so she needs – what she needs to do in my opinion, is just get someone in there to to go, you know, say, hey, here's what we're going to get you. And then go in and set it up for her and make it nice and easy. Because some people, they just, they you want to, you basically want to go, I want to hit one button. 
and everything works for me. So she needs something, and, and uh, other people. I know I try to do this stuff. I want one button, everything turns on. That's what I want. Your, li- your proper light. You know, my lighting is a little jacked up. So if you, you'll notice, right? You see this one where I'm super pasty, and then I'm in dark mode here. And that's what the lighting, you know, this is, you know, the lights are right there. And yeah, just the way that, that the one over there coming from this camera here is shining right on me. And then when I go back to this one, the other one's kind of shining a little off. So I'll, I'll balance that off. I also need to make sure that I'm in sync. Let's th- okay, it looks like I am in sync. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, only on Apple TV tomorrow. MLB. I want to say what Elon Musk said to the Disney guys. MLB. I get it. You're trying to get all the money. You have all the money. You still have teams that don't spend money. Right, yet you're you're gouging us. I have Apple TV. I'll be able to watch the game. Yay me! But I, I'm bummed for everyone that can't watch it. Uh, and I, you know, then you everyone's going. How oh, do I get a quick subscription? Uh, you know, am I paying? I don't know what the the rate is just for Apple TV because mine's all all in a package. Um. It sucks. Then you got to remember to cancel stuff. So remember, if you do any of these temporary things, cancel right away. Uh, or at least make sure you set a reminder. That's what I usually do. I will set a reminder when I need to cancel. So I've got like a short-term thing. Like for the athletic, I'll cancel it and wait for the next good deal. Um, yeah, I bet they're still doing the Peacock thing too. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Uh, that's one of those where... Uh, brutal yeah it, it's it's favoring what peacocks nbc right i think they're they're pretty loaded right they're pretty loaded apple they're pretty loaded right um espn's loaded everyone's, everyone's got money they're disney right just man just put it out there Put it out there so that we can watch these games. The, the you know it, it's great to have a spotlight game. I like that idea, but yeah. Ah, Jason. Yeah, man. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, I'll start getting since more members I get the the you know I'm gonna start doing some content. At least it goes out early. Eventually, I'll do some exclusives if things get good, and um. But I just appreciate all any of the support we can get. Um, we have, um, yeah, yeah. Alana, she just needs a way to to get get the sound better. Because you know, Clint, Clint's really good. He always his sounds always pretty darn clear. He's got everything good. He's got a soundboard or, or a, a, a mixer. In fact, Clint, I had him preview my mixer. Um. And so, you know, I have a mixer. Just, I don't even touch it. It's all one setting. I plug in my computer. I just have a thing when I, it's a laptop. I bring it in. Someday I'll do my setup. Uh, I'll just do it it for the nerds out there. My set, a lot of my setup is actually, um, if you look in the description way down at the bottom, there's some stuff about my setups for what I use for for podcasting and then what I use out um, when I'm on the fields. Um, again, anything that you purchase from those links does help me. Uh, it helps me at least keep those um, affiliates. I'm not going to get rich off any of this stuff, but I just have this thing where I'm just trying to keep all the the things coming because if, if I can make enough money, you know, I can pay people. Um, but, you know, I spend way more than, than I get back. <laughs> That's for sure because uh, I enjoy it. That's the main reason. And I I look at the whole getting these little bits of money just to go. I just kind of like that I can. It's just kind of weird that I can do that. 
because this is not something I ever thought I'd be doing. Um, again, shout out to Gary Lee. Yeah, M Apple TV tomorrow. Gary Lee from Dodgers Nation for giving me the opportunity in July of 2018 and bringing me on to Dodgers Nation and helping get this channel to get started a couple years later. Yep, Apple tomorrow. So shout out to Gary. Thank you, Gary. Um, I actually did send him a thank you card. Um, hopefully he, he has gotten it. I just sent it out a few days ago um, with the symbolic, you know, dollar for, you know, representing the first dollar that this channel earned. It hasn't been a lot, and most of the, a lot of the money has been given away. Um, but now the rest of it will go towards, you know, Re, 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 replenishing and if I have people on that work in my group I'll try to find a way for them to get to get some of that if it when it becomes if it ever becomes significant right now it's not um, so it's a left-hander tomorrow new lineup that means for sure Hayward sits and I hope it's only Hayward I really don't want them platooning James Altman and Gavin Lux, please don't do that. But expect to see Teoscar in right with either CT3 or Kike in left. And if they do the platoon thing, then, you know, who knows who you would see. Um, you'd see someone else at short with Mookie at second. So, um yeah, let's go tomorrow. Let's just, you know, and pray that the, the rain somehow avoids. If not, uh, maybe they're playing too on Sunday. I don't know. But Sunday's supposed to be some rain too. I'm going to be up in the area but will not be at games. Again, I, I think I told you all, celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. Pretty pretty darn cool. Um, and then, um, yeah, next week. The uh, minor leagues, minor league games start. We'll start seeing rosters soon. Can't wait to see that. I want to, you know, where is DePaula going to be? Where is Vargas going to be? You know, Yoandre. We already know where where um, Miggy is. And um, the other thing. Um, did you guys see those Oklahoma City uniforms? Because now for for this season. They are the Oklahoma City Baseball Club, which is, I think, just the worst thing. Um, they're rebranding. Oh, here's their prelim roster. We can, we'll go through that in a minute, but these uniforms. These uniforms. Where is it? Where is it? Hiya. Exactly. Um, yuck. 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 Disgusting. All right, let's. I, so we got a prelim roster. This is good. I didn't see this. I missed it. Okay, so pitchers Nabil Krismat, Tanner Dodson, JP Fireisen, Matt Gage, Alec Gamboa, Steven Gonzalez, Kevin Gowdy, Jesse Hahn, Landon Knack, Denelson Lamette. I'm glad he's sticking around so far. Michael Peterson, John Rooney, Eduardo Salazar, Ricky Venasco, Gus Varland. That's a pretty freaking good staff, isn't it? Catchers, Hunter Fiducia and Chris Oki or OK. Oki. Oh, yeah, it was Oki. Um, infielders, Jonathan Arauz, uh, uh, Cody Jose. Good. I'm glad he's there. Andre Lipsius. Chris Owings still there. Good. Um, Kevin Padlo. Look, he had a lot of nice stuff in spring training. Um, Trey Sweeney. I'm a, I've, I became a fan. Uh, Miggy, Var, Miggy Vargas, who will actually be playing in the outfield too. And then in the outfield, Drew Avens, Andy Pajes, and Ryan Ward. So, Nice. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty darn good thing. Let me see if we got Tulsa have anything like that. That would be nice to have. Tulsa Drillers. Do we have oh look at that. Oh, that's the Dodgers. Jeez, Rogers. Um nothing from them. But um 
Yeah, it was good to see OKC's uh, roster. How about RC Quakes? Do we have anything from them? Hey, I know that lady. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing there. And our Great Lakes loons. So media day will be sometime next week. If it's on Monday or Tuesday, I will not be going. If it's on Wednesday, I will be there. Loons on opening day rosters. Boy, there's a lot of them. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So baseball was kind to, kind to us today. Yeah, it's very cool to, Motley, to see Cody being, being up in OKC. It's, it's really good. Any pie is just a beast. Our Little League, too. Our Little League definitely had better jerseys. Oh, man. Yeah, couldn't have come up with a creative better name. Yeah, um, Casey Porter was talking about that. He, he said they should be like the 89ers, I think is what it was. That's kind of a historical thing. Um, yeah. Mr. John Rudd, welcome. Yeah, so um, having uh, OKC not be the Dodgers, you know, there's we've heard this thing about the Ontario thing. My dream would, you know, and I Casey Casey Porter, I'm sorry, but if the Dodgers AAA team came out here and played in Ontario, that'd be the greatest thing. But what it sounds like is a Quakes stay with Rancho, which is good. We want that. I love those the Quakes and Dodgers. Hopefully, we'll stay with them. And then Ontario gets another team, a new team. So doesn't matter, you know, as long as we have one of the minor league teams in Southern California, two would be better. No, no lies told here. But, um, I, I, you know, folks, I got to tell you something, guys. So, folks, it's important if you can get out to watch a Rancho game. You know, I cover that team, and I go once – once every series, at least I try. And what I see is, is, is fan, you know, Friday night, Saturday night, and it's a third full. Maybe. Maybe less. I mean, even on rehab starts, unless it's, you know, Urias had a lot. Um, Kershaw, of course, if he's there, it's going to be crazy, but. You know, CT3 has been done, you know, the, even when, when Corey Seager was out there, people were not lining up to, to be there. Oh, you used to have the alien hat. Oh, man, I really wish that was, uh, yeah, I wish I had that. I might see if they find one of those. That's a good, that was a good one. That was really a cool one, huh? Let's see. Yeah, we're, let's see, people are talking about Yamamoto. Talking about guys hitting fastball. Mike Whitman says that. He, Mike's pretty darn reliable. Mark's, Mike's a good baseball dude. Jackson Ferris, I assume, will be uh, with Great Lakes. That's my assumption. I assume Robleski goes to double A. Same with Cop. They will both be in double A. Bruns might start at high A, but will be in double A soon, or we'll start in double A. And then Ferris will start with high A, because he was in low A last year. Um, let's see, Christian, Christian Romero. Uh, Campos, Chris Campos should be up in high A. Uh, so the, the the basically a lot of the guys that ended last year, you know, I think Carroll's probably starts the season in high A and then moves up, but um, it's just all good. You know, there are plenty of guys there. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the new arms coming up. Hopefully, uh, Jang. Um, and then, um, yeah, there's there's plenty of. Um, 
tons of talent. But yeah, go 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 watch a minor league baseball game. Make 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 it make it a goal to find you know. And it's hey, you know what? If you're ton, if you're miles and miles away, uh, you know, don't don't. <laughs> I mean, unless you really want to. But if you're close enough, you know, dump a Dodger game and go. Yeah, yeah. Shane Bieber lit it up today, huh? Yep. Well, maybe he found that he found that juice back. Well, g- just in time because he's going to be a free agent or a free, you know, or a guy you can trade for. Um, let's be honest. Um, Shane Bieber is going to have that number one, uh, number one target on him. Uh, Corbin Burns, of course, is with the Orioles, so he's off the market. So have to else have to start doing some research. What's Rancho like as a town? Um, there, so not a lot of entertainment there, but it's, uh, it's bigger than you think. It sounds, you know, Rancho Cucamonga. We used to make fun of that name. We thought it was a funny name when we were in college. Rancho Cucamonga. Um, it's actually, you know, it's got a little bit of big town feel. It's got, you know, it's, it's wrapped around Ontario Fontana or Fontucky, as we used to, Jim Rome used to call it. Um, Padres Angels, yeah. Or, you know, because the Padres and Angels already have teams, they there needs to be another team. Maybe the Rockies come back or something like that. Um, but there, yeah, there's only three. Yeah, they need to have a team closer so they can have the West, the uh, South Division better. Um, yeah, it it's it's a uh, there's nothing really small about it in my opinion, but it's a I think it's a nice place, that's for sure. I like going up there. Plenty of good places to eat. Um and it's what 40 miles from Dodger Stadium, I think is what it is. So that's not too bad. And it's you know, um I think there's, you know, it's it's a way it doesn't have the big city feel, but it, it, it's kind of, I don't know, John, Mr. John Rod, why don't you tell, tell people more about Rancho? The view of the mountains is, is gorgeous. Gets does get hot in the middle of summer, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, you're close enough to, to other things. I would, I would like to live there. I, I would have had no problem living there. Just my job's down here. Um, yeah, future home of the Vegas. Yeah, Rancho is cool. It's not super nice, but it has a great hometown feel. Yeah, it's just it's a, you know, it's um, I like it, Mister Classic. You have a question? Let's see. I bet the chat will have an answer. What you got? Um. Yeah, but you know, San Bernardino's a little further away. That's a. Uh, Oh, great school system. That's good. Are they the ones at the, the Los Osos High School? Is that Rancho? How come all minor league baseball teams can't be close to L.A.? I think that's a great question. Because you know what? Um, I think it's the Orioles that have all their teams pretty close. Relatively close. But I agree. I, I, it really comes down to money. Who's paying for what? And, you know, like the Oklahoma City and Tulsa deals were made probably right, I think it was before Friedman took over. So, um, yeah, I wish they were closer. You know, Vegas. How about one of the one Dodger team in Vegas, one in Rancho, one in Ontario, and one in Escondido. Why did I say that? <laughs> yeah, Tony. Uh, yeah, go. That's Tony. That's how I started going. Was the was the rehab games. That's how I started when I started going. And I got addicted, and then got a chance to cover them. <laughs> it was great, getting to know the players and things like that. But yeah, the rehab games are cool because it's like, wait, I could really get some good shots. You know, get close as a fan or as a media guy, 
getting right in there. Um, being able to have a chance to ask Clayton Kershaw a question. Or Joe Kelly. Yeah, so that would be cool. You know, mix them, mix it up. You know, I, I don't. I don't recommend Albuquerque because that, that, that elevation is terrible. And um, that's that would be that's a rough one. You don't want to do that. But it depends, you know, because um, like right now, you know, there, there's divisions, right? So there's the PCL, which, but, you know, with Oklahoma City, they're playing, their, their trips are pretty good, but they do go to, Tacoma once and they go to Vegas once but the rest of it is a bit closer they still have to go on some pretty darn long bus drives that's for sure I guess it builds character all right now that was a good question I thought it was a real I thought it was a great question I'd like to see them close enough i'd like to see our triple a guys be a lot closer that's why i like the idea of vegas um that's what i really would like because um, this um oklahoma city for these pitchers that have gone back and forth the michael grows gavin stones uh of course mitchell white uh, was was part of that up and down you know up and down all around uh, on the planes, all that, you know, all, just craziness. So I'd like them to be closer. And I think it would, the fans could get to know. Them. But at the same time, it's, I think it's really cool to, to, for places that don't have major league teams anywhere close, like Oklahoma City and things like that, to have that and to, to be able to spread that out a bit. So maybe, because, you know, Vegas is going to get another AAA team. Um, you know, the A's. <laughs> oh, you've been to the A's Triple A team. Yeah, their stadium is nice. I'm sure. Yeah, I want to go there. If I can get a press pass, I want to get out there. Yeah, it's way too far for OKC, but you know they do pretty well with their attendance, and they really, you know, it's a, it's their chance to uh, to be there. You know, our guy, um, Mr. Brubaker himself, um, who works with Casey. You know, he's out there at Great Lakes. Yeah, I've only been to the Rancho Rancho level, so it's high A or low A. That's all I've been to. Um, but if I can ever get, you know, if I could ever work, because, you know, i got a son in Austin. If it's ever working where the Dodgers are in Round Rock and I could do that, I'd like to do that too and make and make something happen. Or not the Dodgers, but what are they? The Oklahoma City Baseball Club. Boo. Boo, hiss. Yeah, I'm just seeing this thing coming up on the Twitter thing. Um, it's kind of weird. It, it feels like I, it feels like I'm just still waiting for another Dodger move. Doesn't it feel like that still? You know, we spent all off season just getting. Um, once things got rolling, how it just transaction after transaction after transaction after transaction, big transactions too. My gosh, I mean the whole. What within less than three weeks, the Dodgers got Shohei Otani, Tyler Glass now, and Yoshinobu Yamamoto. How about that? Man, that's an offseason right there. But then you go, oh, but we also, most importantly, re signed Clayton Kershaw and Will Smith, or re up Will Smith for long term, got Clayton back. Uh, got um, T. Oscar, got Paxson, just more depth. Um, Kike back, just just kept bring it, bring it, and bring it, and bringing it. This offseason did feel long. Well, because it seemed like it took a while to get started, because everyone was waiting for Shohei. I mean, kind of flashbacks, right? Oh, in that athletic article, Dave Roberts, man, he definitely went off script. Even Friedman was a little, a little concerned that that would be an issue. I think the AAA team is going to move closer to LA for the next few years. Yeah. Will you start worrying if Yamamoto struggles again on Saturday? No, it's this is all adjustment time. Um, he has to get. He, so what he needs to do. 
first and foremost to really get on the to get on the on the royal path of pitching for the Dodgers, you have to trust the process. You have to trust Mark Pryor, Connor McGinnis, and company. You have to. You just have to buy in and go, this is what we're doing, and I'm going to follow it. Just trust it. They, it's amazing how much they already know. And then just adjust, they'll adjust as they go. They'll see, they'll, they'll try some things. Yeah. Brad Paisley broke it, brokering that. That was, that was really, I'm not, I can't, I'm not a country fan, but that was a really neat part of it. And then, um, Brian Baumgartner from Gartner from, um, the office, you know, was playing, (laughs) playing golf with Dave Roberts on the, on the, on the, the Toronto Blue Jays, uh, Friday. Um, and doc was terrible (laughs) because he was all jacked up because they were just going, Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Dave was public enemy number one. I I just think I thought it was funny. Um, I think Dave periodically just needs to get off script and he kind of picked a bad time to do it. <laughs> it was almost like his salty Dave came out, but that's the wrong time. We need salty Dave like in September when they're not playing well. We need salty Dave to get mad at Dylan Hernandez or something like that. That's what we need. We need Dylan out there be the foil for Dave Roberts. Ask a question. It's going to piss him off. Let Dave get a little salty. Salty Dave manages better with that little extra urgency. We don't need Salty Dave right now. It's it's not even April. But yeah, those are good times. That was uh, go if you go look back at the un, my underperforming video to be honest with you with Clint. Um we covered the offseason pretty well. We missed uh I think we missed Kike and of course the Will Smith thing. It was recorded earlier. But um, just going through that and, the you know, the, the timings in there and things like that. Because um, I actually had the transactions written out. Yeah, Salty Dave in October, which were his past and said that Otani was going to hold it against teams to go public. And Nez said that, that wasn't true with the press conference. I guess Jeff was wrong this time. I think that uh, I it sounded... It sounded in that article from the Athletic, Andrew Friedman was nervous about it. So, I don't think Jeff dropped the ball on that one. I think he changed his mind. Uh, to you invested three twenty five. Uh, yeah, but he's just not, he has it in his contract not to be sent down. That's just the way it is. It is it's not even April, so. We can check back in June or July if he's really struggling. Um, it's it. This is a big life adjustment. He's 25 years old. I'm. I was man. I was such an idiot at 25. Dodger Nation dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, they did. They know it. JP JP Hornstra is a good dude. A real good dude. So he made he blew it, and um. But he, yeah, he's such a good writer, and he's a really good human, and he got misled. Yeah, they all they all saw something. Yeah, I'm not I, I'm not worried about that stuff at all. Um, like I said, check we'll check back in June, July, and maybe there's something that has to happen. But for him, it's there's just so much adjustment that he's going through right now. Um, I, I don't count exhibition and, and any of that stuff. Because um, then you got to count the first one where he was really good. It's just, you know, he's he's learning how to pitch here, and it's just the way it is. Um, I, 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 he'll be fine. I, I think he will be, at least. Um, I can't state any facts there. But it really is one of those things where I do trust the Dodgers and they know what they're doing. I haven't heard any rumblings that anyone's worried about it. 
So that that's where um, if I start hearing rumblings, and I've got I've got my sources of rumblings. Um, I do have that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not gonna sweat it yet. Um, but you know, let's see. Okay, okay, real quick. I want to look real quick since we're together here still. I want to look at Has- Hassan Kim's contract. I mean, what's it, how's it going to be the whole free agency with him? Because if that dude's a free agent, I want that. I want him for sure. So okay, it's just, okay. It's a mutual option. So that means, I, as long as one of them, I think, says I'm out. Well, I, I think he's. That's it. Um. Let's see. The Padres want to re-sign him. Let's see. He can definitely be an unrestricted free agent after 2025. We do know that. Um, let's see. I mean, with the mutual options, that just mean that um, all it takes is one of them to set to exercise it, and it's good. Um, let's see what this says. Oh, I'm getting killed with ads. Lord help us all. He's just such a good defensive player. Fifth year club option that could push the value to thirty nine million. So um Yeah, so if they keep yeah, so it sounds like he can't be afraid until after twenty twenty five. Um But yeah, that's a guy <laughs> I would really like to have him. Um, he's such a good, he's such a great defensive player, and it's he's a he's a game changer there. He's one of the guys that helped. Um, he's one of the guys that helped uh, Blake Snell win that Cy Young. Hey, Ele- Elishiva, how you doing? Yeah, Kim should just get, yeah, Kim should not sell himself short. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, Yancey gave gave some up today. Um, hitters know they only have to worry about the lower part of the strike zone. He doesn't have a rising fastball that threatens hitters in the upper part of the zone. Hitters' eye level isn't challenged. We'll see. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna kill my window here. This Chrome window here because I'm running out of uh, resources. It says, "Yikes." So, okay. Yeah, Yamamoto's got good stuff. They'll they'll figure it out. If he figure if he can figure it out in Japan, he's going to be able to figure it out here, I believe. Um, he'll get there. Just one of those things. Um, let's see. Open widget. All right. So you're going to experience some buffering. Sorry about that, folks. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm not gonna tell people not to panic. That's a, it's a, it's your call. I'm not panicking yet. You'll know. <laughs> You'll know. Um, obviously, because you know, I got, I got, I got the, I got the soapbox here. <laughs> um, so, my, you know, I, I, I remain optimistic. I'm optimistic right now about a lot of things. The one, the one, the, I've got to be honest. My pessimism uh, about Muncie at third base is defense is is a concern. Um. So, that's that's that. Um, Mookie, too much shortstop is a little bit of a concern. And just overall, never having enough pitching. 
I know there's more guys coming. Bueller should be back pretty soon, hopefully. Um, which will be, I really like watching Walker Bueller pitch, but yeah, I like him throwing the baseballs. Of any pitcher the Dodgers have, he's my favorite to watch. He's my favorite pitcher to even, you know, I love Kirsch, and he's amazing. But Bueller, something about that dude, man. Love watching him pitch. I'm, a, I'm a, just a fan of the way he goes out, goes about his business. Of course, I am with Kershaw, too. Um, but, yeah. Something to do with the pitch staff with time does with the Elmo's help them develop a sweeper. Oh, I'm sure they will. They're going to keep working on it. They got this is only their first spring training with him. They've, you know, they've had him since I think they signed him officially. Was it December 27th or 28th? I was on a plane when during that press conference, so I obviously missed that one. <laughs> um, there is a lot of swing and miss in the lineup, that's for sure. Um, the rest, you know, we'll see. And, um, and so let's let's we'll talk about the okay. So after the big three, Will Smith. Uh, he just needs to rest enough. Max Muncie. Hit, he's he's going to be he's he'll he'll do what Max Muncy does, walks and hits home runs. Teoscar Hernandez will hit the ball hard and swing and miss a lot. James Altman's going to hit the ball pretty hard. He'll get some swing and miss in there, but he's he's going to, you know, call it a two fifty to two sixty batting average with twenty five home runs. Uh, Jason Hayward had a nice spring, I thought. Um, just hit the ball pretty hard this year, this spring. It looked, it looked like, um, Gavin Lux puts the bat to the ball and then, um, Kike and Taylor are the main guys off the bench for hitting. Obviously, Miggy Rowe and Austin Barnes aren't, ain't providing much. So, I, I don't agree with that, Norm. Jo Shohei Otani in 2018 had way higher expectations, in my opinion, than Yamamoto. Money aside, the expectations were so high. Is this two-way guy, this unicorn coming out? And then he struggled in, the sp in spring. He was awful. You know, Dodgers Nation regretfully had said something. I wasn't working with them at the time. They had this thing about, it looks like we dodged a bullet with the picture of Otani in the Huntex circle. <laughs> uh, you can't you can't lose that one. Oh, that's the swing and miss sometimes. That was a big miss. Uh, wish they, I'm sure wish they, they could find a way to get rid of that. <laughs> uh, it just is what it is. Um, yeah, there's huge huge expectations of him, and um, so, uh, but yeah, you know, there's plenty of expectations. I'm, I, I just, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna just go, go along with this and enjoy the ride as much as I can. I don't worry about it when I feel like worrying about it. Um, yeah. My my biggest concern is the lack of lack of pitching depth, and that's got to be with any team the way these guys go down. Yeah. So a lot of hype. There's always there's you know Sasaki's got a lot of hype behind him. Um. But yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna see these guys just keep grinding away. And learning and adapting. Baseball is a game of adjustments. It's also the thinking man's game. Yes, I said man. And I will stay with that until there's a until, until there's a woman in Major League Baseball. And it's, it's thinking man's game. It really is. So adjustments, thinking, 
Um, and so, and the Yamamoto's in the best place he could be. And all these players, all 26 players on the active roster are on the best place you can be baseball-wise in terms of getting help. Um, the only way it would be better is if, of course, Bruce Bochy was the manager. It's not happening. But the staff, and Dave, being Dave Roberts great, dude. You know, and he supports, they support each other. All the, all these guys support each other very well. The whole, from the from Stan Cast and on down, you know, they, they support each other. There's a lot of longevity now in some of these guys. And so they know how each other work, and they still bring in new blood, too. So that's cool. All right, time to roll, folks. I didn't, got past me. All right, 1026. Yikes. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, folks. I really appreciate it. Um, let's hope we have a good... I don't know when I'll be back again next, because, you know, weekend's coming up, anniversary weekend and all that. The actual anniversary is on Tuesday, um, but we're going to be celebrating a bit, doing some stuff, having a good old time. So my focus is my wife. You know, if I sneak in a, when she goes, if she goes to bed earlier or something like that, we'll get, we'll get something going. Easter, I'm going to do something different. Um, I go to a very low church, Calvary Chapel. Those are very low church in terms of very um, non, <laughs> they're, they're, they're ugly. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a rock concert and a TED talk. So I'm going to try, based on a recommendation, Episcopalian church just for Easter. I want to experience uh, communion that's a little more solemn with some... Uh, I don't need more guitars. <laughs> I, I love guitars, but that's a different thing. All right. Okay, folks. Thanks, everyone. If I don't see you, happy Easter Resurrection Day. Good Friday is tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll go some, go some, some, something with that. Maybe even go, go, go down the Roman road, go see my Catholic friends over at, at a church on Good Friday. So, all right, have a good, have a good everything. Go Dodgers, as always. Um, so have a good one, everyone. Thanks again. As always, God bless and go Dodgers. <laughs>